Enough with the side missions, it was back on to the main quest line, where I had to find the chief of the Sun Smashers. And this is the point where I encountered another fairly annoying character that is canonical to the rest of the series. But if you had not played Tales of the Borderlands, you may not be familiar with Chris Hardwick. Chris Hardwick is usually the host of Talking Dead, but sometimes he appears in Borderlands. Did you know that? Well, now you do. Yo, Surprisingly, this series makes him look and sound more like him than he does in real life, and that's a real accomplishment on the part of the artists over at Gearbox. At first, I thought the game was asking me to shoot him, but actually they were just asking me to shoot him down. Oh, 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 hey, yeah, ah, oh, oh, feet work good. I really nice feel Chris would benefit from hey, dressing thanks. like this you at every Comic Con from here on out. So, Go ahead, try it. Here? It'll be fun. Mission for the Crimson Raiders. If this wasn't you already annoying anyway. enough, now it turned into an escort mission. <laughs> Yay! I said with absolutely no sarcasm whatsoever. Like, Wait, was I being sarcastic about being be. sarcastic? It is oh no. It's sarcasmception. An electric skag took down my shield in a matter of seconds. I don't know if it's because my shield is underleveled now, or that I'm just bad at this game. Actually, probably a combination of the two. It is also possible that these skags heard what happened with the last group of skags I encountered and were seeking vengeance. I'm not sure if they have the capacity for vengeance, but this encounter made me start wondering about such things. Also, do Vault Hunters dream of electric skags? Questions abound. I returned Hardwick back to Lilith and got some of that sweet, sweet Nerdist money for my troubles. The she Hunter, then sent me off to meet Ellie and Fred get myself Ellie a cool set of, of wheels. About time. I found Ellie doing what she normally does, killing bandits. In the most gratuitous of ways. You do you, L. You do you. Moe's got a little flirty. Damn, you're sturdy. It'd take an army to knock you down. Such a sweet talker. And she sent me out on my next main mission to get a vehicle, hijack it, and bring it back to her garage. Along the way, I found my new favorite thing, which is something you can do with a shotgun. If you score a critical hit, you can actually send your enemies flying up into the air. I would now attempt to do this with practically every enemy in the game, because, come on, that's awesome. I even got rewarded for shotgun diplomacy. And that is basically everything that happened in level 4. What interesting things will occur when we hit level 5? Probably some technical difficulties. You'll see what I mean on the next episode.